Damn you, woman. That cleaner. I really am going to sling her out. Honestly. Now, look what she's done here, look. She's left this just lying around here, look. I'll tell you what I've got this. I'll tell you why I've got this, because you know the boys out of Hanson? <laughs> I was round, and I was having a bit of fun with them, and I, I, you need that in case they're sick, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> and a blanket there to keep them warm, and uh, obviously a box of tissues. Well, you need that, wouldn't you? And, uh, and a pillow here, I have a pillow, in case they want to, like, scream. <laughs> <laughs> I must get her to, uh... Must get to clear that. Basically, since they slung her out of EastEnders because she got too fat to work behind the bar, she's just <laughs> gone right to pieces as my cleaner. Anyway, tell you what I'm going to do now. I'm going to make you a television programme. This is a mate of mine that I used to know. This is, this is when I moved into the glamorous world of television, obviously. Now, I mix with all these people, all the big stars. Right? In the old days, when I used to live out in the rough bit, because I've lived in some rough places, right? I've lived in Toxteth, right? I've lived in Manchester, I've lived in South London, I've lived in Shutdown for a while, now Shutdown just outside Rubberhide. Whoa! This is just a big, like, council estate, loads of drug plushes, really hard-looking kids and everything. But then, when I work in television, these are the kind of programmes I make. This is a friend of mine who's a, who's a hands-on healer. All right, have a look. Now I travel the world teaching healing workshops, leading sacred journeys, and helping other people to heal. As I traveled, I found out that there were certain techniques that you can teach people in minutes that would help them to work with this sacred energy. There you go. Can I just say, he's got a fine figure of a lad, isn't he? <laughs> well, I thought so, anyway. <laughs> anyway, this is, this, let's move on. This is what he does. Huh? There are also other levels of hurt, anger, rage, rage. and then there's a place called <laughs> shutdown. And this is the most dangerous place of all. Seriously, it is. Kids with razors, nine-year-old kids with razor blades. They want to send some kind of task force in there. Now, he does hands-on healing. Now, a lot of people think that's mumbo-jumbo. And it's when they meet, that's oh, mumbo-jumbo. Oh, you're better. Oh, you had a headache. It's gone. No, what he does is scientific, all right? He went to the same school as me and he knows his science, all right? Have a look at this if you think it's baloney. At the point in time where the person starts feeling again, the first emotion they feel is that rage. So what happens is they may say, hey, this isn't worth it. This doesn't feel good. I'm going back into shutdown. <laughs> and what I've done is created a graph which explains this. And we're going to show that graph to you now. Then we can help the person in their healing process. Right. See, now it makes sense now, doesn't it? <laughs> Shut down, strike, no emotion to express, mindless energy frozen over emotional barrier, plus rage, anger, hurt, disappointment, conditional, love, neutral, <laughs> unconditional, divided by energy moving equals intensity of pain. Now that's in the national curriculum, that is. <laughs> but if you're too stupid to understand that, right, which, I don't know, some of you look like you didn't go to school. Right? <laughs> Let's make it even simpler, right? It was an old technique that he picked up at our old alma mater. Look. This lemon is going to be our teacher now. And I bet you will never forget it. What I want to talk about is the mind. What, your mind or the mind of the rest of the normal people in the world? <laughs> now, here he goes now. Anyway, he's going to go inside now and he, he's, he's going to do some spiritual hand on feeling and you're going to be moved. You're going to be impressed. And the first thing he does is a prayer, right? And he used to say the same prayer as all of us, right? Uh, our Father art in heaven. But then he thought, oh, hang on, that's not quite politically correct. <laughs> now he just a big nonsense prayer. <laughs> Heavenly Mother, Father, God, Spirit, <laughs> Session, guide us and direct us to do the best we can to help this person. Amen. <laughs> no, you don't know. What, 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 have you, what have you been saying all them years? Dear Father God, and you turn up and it's a bird. <laughs> How stupid are you going to look? <laughs> anyway, see, he's going to get serious now. If you go to the doctors, the first thing they do, they wash their hands, they sterilise all the equipment, they make themselves ready, and that's pretty much what he's doing, just in his own way. Okay, at this point, what I'm going to do is centre and ground myself, bringing a ball of white light through the top of my head, <laughs> all the way down through my body, and just imagine it blessing and cleansing all the energy centers Watch in the body. Watch his hands. Watch his hands. <laughs> and then, and then, and then, and Sorry. All the way into this. If you're just going to giggle, I'm not going to show you. <laughs> I'm going to 
center of the earth, anchoring some of the energy there. Right. Bring it and back. And bringing it and back up <laughs> to the bottom of my feet and out through my heart. And then the energy will come through my hands. And then what I'll do is rub my hands to activate it. And say, Maggie, can I touch you lightly on your body? Thank you. <laughs> Again, being very careful to make sure that the person is in agreement. <laughs> and what I'm doing is just checking for hot and cold places. <laughs> uh, can I say something, ladies and gentlemen? No. Two things. Firstly, what he's doing is absolutely proper. Anyone in the medical profession will tell you that these days, if you're an examining lady on your, on your own, you have to be very careful. You have to say, please, do you mind if I touch you? You can't just steam in there like in the old days. <laughs> Same meeting a bird in a pub now. You can't just put your hand up a skirt, you've got to talk about dolphins. Right? <laughs> <laughs> but, so he said, do you mind if I touch you? Right? So he is proper. Just one other thing to the ladies, right, especially some of the younger, less experienced. If you're ever in a position where you're lying down on your back and a fat bloke's going like that, <laughs> you might want to think about calling a cab. But that's just, that's just a personal thing. Anyway, what's, what's the next bit now? Now that you've learned how to work with energy, let's do an actual healing session. One of the most important things to have for your healing session is a box of tissues, just in case people cry. <laughs> Another good safety device to have is a wastebasket, just in case they get sick, so if something doesn't get spilled all over the floor. Another item is a pillow. A pillow can be used to scream into, can be used to punch or hit. It could also be used to squeeze like a teddy bear. The other thing that is very handy to have is a blanket, just in case the person gets cold, which often happens in a healing session. Yes, afterwards they're obviously sitting there going, <laughs> that may well be cold. Anyway, now let's see the man in action now, because he is an absolutely wizard, hands-on healer. So let's see him work. Come on. The aura can be detected in a number of ways. So what I'd like to do right now is just do a very quick aura cleansing. That's it. Clean it up. <laughs> there you go. And just Because I have to say, as soon as I saw that woman, I thought, her oh, aura's a bit dirty. <laughs> Well, I didn't like to say anything, but he's obviously, you know, he's cleaning it up now. She'll look great in a minute. What is the energy around her body? <laughs> Later on, what I'll do after I finish working with her is to smooth out this energy field. Now, Bedelia, are you feeling anything as I'm doing this? <laughs> Bit of an idiot. <laughs> no, no, come on, let's, let's get on with it. The first time... Um, chakra I'm going to work with. The chakras are the energy centers of the body. Right. And there's seven energy centers. You've got the crown chakra, you've got the third eye, uh. the throat chakra, communication, heart, love, compassion. Just by the way, any medical students, in, it, it ain't actually there. <laughs> it's more to the side, I think, but you'll pick that up in your studies. I think. Solar plexus, self-image and self-esteem. Navel chakra, spleen chakra. Now, there is another chakra, right? <laughs> and yes, it is that chakra. And he's very helpful here, just in case there's any of you younger people aren't sure exactly where it is, all right? It's about power. And the sexual area, which is about grounding and survival. 